Today's question is a really good one. It goes to the heart of how a couple that are here together um, are about to be separated as a result of the immigration status change for a foreign domestic helper. My girlfriend is a Filipino domestic helper who's just left her employment with a Chinese family. However, she wants to stay in Hong Kong with me. Can you advise on how this might be achieved? When the employment of a foreign domestic helper in Hong Kong comes to an end, by operation of law, their immigration status switches from foreign domestic helper visa through to a two-week automatic visitor visa. And at the end of those two weeks, they're expected to leave Hong Kong. Unless in the intervening period they're able to source an alternate employer and uh, procure a signed employment contract where the foreign domestic helper can then take that down to the immigration department, begin the processes of the uh, foreign domestic helper uh, visa contract under the new sponsor and the immigration department allow the foreign domestic helper to remain in Hong Kong for the few short weeks that it takes for that process to complete itself. So in this situation where a foreign domestic helper no longer has an employer but is in a relationship with somebody in Hong Kong who's a resident and they're trying to um, create the circumstances where they can remain together here, there are very limited options all things considered. The mere fact of being in a relationship with a Hong Kong resident in of itself doesn't give the foreign domestic helper any opportunities to continue to uh, stay in Hong Kong on extended visitor visa permissions. So over the long haul what's going to be needed is some kind of other residential status that could be suitable uh, for her in her circumstances. But a close analysis of the various visa types that are on offer suggests that the, uh, the pickings are not going to be particularly rich. So the first thing that she could do would be to obviously leave Hong Kong, uh, go through the process of being uh, accepted into a Hong Kong university uh, for a degree level type uh, course and at that point she'll be able to get a student visa assuming that she can show that she's got the resources to be able to finance herself during the currency of her studies and that will then give her effectively student visa permission, she'll be able to live and your relationship will be able to continue. Um, if she had 10 million Hong Kong dollars conceptually, she could uh, make an application under the Capital Investment Entrance Scheme. But as you'd imagine, if you have 10 million Hong Kong dollars, it's arguable that she probably won't be working as a foreign domestic helper in the first place. Um, if she were some kind of uh, Nobel laureate or uh, had won uh, a kind of a, a prize or, um, or a medal in the Olympics for the Philippines, then possibly she could make an application of the Quality Migrant Admission Scheme, but again that just seems a little bit ludicrous given that she's here as a foreign domestic helper. So I suspect that that opportunity for her is not available. Um, it's very difficult to expect that she'll be able to procure a job offer outside of providing foreign domestic helper visa services because in a sense once she secured her first foreign domestic helper visa she disclosed to the immigration department what her background is and normally if you've been a foreign domestic helper it's extremely difficult to go on and argue for the purposes of an employment visa application subsequently if you are a professional um, under the general employment policy so arguably that's not going to work. So it's very difficult to um, suggest that there's anything that you can really do in these circumstances. Uh, one thing that I would uh, strongly recommend against is the temptation to potentially putting your name forward as her partner uh, to be your foreign domestic helper. Uh, you may be able to pull the wool over the eyes of the immigration department in this regard, but it certainly won't make it lawful. Uh, and I would strongly recommend that, uh, that you don't embark down that path. So I'm sorry the news isn't great, but that's kind of really about the shape of it, I'm afraid.